when Boston Dynamics introduced the new fully electric Atlas in April 2024, it seemed like the death blow to hydraulics for humanoids. But two startups generating significant buzz are going against the grain and betting on hydraulics. They're using cutting-edge tech that they say overcomes limitations that previously made hydraulics impractical for wide-scale deployment. Will it give them an edge against robots from the likes of Tesla, Agility Robotics, Figure, UbiTech, Unitree, and One X Technologies? Or will it be the hill they die on? Let's take a look. Automation's newest contribution to man. This jack-of-all-trades robot is called Unimate, and it handles dull, difficult, or dangerous jobs with equal aplomb. During the rise of industrial robots in the 60s and 70s, hydraulic systems became the dominant choice for powering factory automations. In the 80s and 90s, market demand shifted toward electric actuation thanks to breakthroughs in motors and control systems. If you look at an hydraulic robot, uh, it is very big, it is rather clumsy, it is noisy, it uh, requires a lot of electric power, and uh, it's not a very clean device. So um, uh, it has a lot of disadvantages that really are based in the hydraulic drives. And we, we realized that and we, we didn't really like those robots at all, but they were the ones that could do the job in our manufacturing plan for us. For the rapidly expanding humanoid robotics market, hydraulic systems have increasingly been seen as a dead end. But now Sanctuary AI and Clone Robotics are going against the grain, boasting the human-like capabilities of their creations powered by hydraulics. Vancouver-based Sanctuary just released a demo of its next-gen robotic hand with 21 degrees of freedom. The design uses miniaturized hydraulic valves, which the startup says delivers superior power density compared to electric systems. The company, which has surpassed $140 million in funding, says the valves have been tested to withstand over 2 billion cycles without leakage or degradation. According to Interesting Engineering, the hydraulic actuators use food-safe oil. The hydraulic hand has one fewer degree of freedom than Tesla's next-gen hand, but seems designed for tasks needing greater strength. Human-like dexterity paired with beyond-human strength could prove useful in semiconductor manufacturing and electronics assembly. While Sanctuary looked to hydraulics for its new hand, Tesla engineers reportedly moved the Optimus robot's actuators into its forearm to mimic human muscles. Yeah, so like the, the, the current Optimus, um, we, we tried putting the actuators in the hand itself. <laughs> then you, you sort of end, end up having these like... Giant hands? Yeah, giant hands that look weird. Yeah. Um, and then they, they don't actually have enough degrees of freedom and, and or enough strength. Mm -hmm. So, so then you realize, oh, okay, that's why you gotta put the actuators in the forearm. And, and just like a human, you gotta run cables uh, through a, na a narrow tunnel to uh, operate the, the fingers. The hand integrates with Sanctuary's flagship humanoid robot, Phoenix. Sanctuary's interim chief executive, James Wells, told prominent ex-poster Humanoid Hub he was confident about the company's hands first development roadmap. He said the company is leaning into its IP portfolio as Sanctuary is ranked fourth globally in patents for general purpose robotics and dexterous manipulation technologies. Can I get like a demo? Do you want to do your demo play? Yeah, yeah. Can I take or pull? Oh, pull one. Yeah. Hope it doesn't stop because probably we spent cord, so, but let, let's see. Yeah, the range of movement is insane. Yeah. Meanwhile, Clone Robotics, which operates out of the US and Poland, is going viral for its torso to androids human-like movements that remind people of Westworld. Clone says its android is powered by water and electricity. Other robots like Festo's Aqua Jelly use water-based systems, but Clone's ambitions are next level. Clone likens the hydraulics to a human's organ system. The company, which is working towards synthetic humans, aims to eventually mass-produce its androids for home use. 
The startup calls Torso 2 the most advanced android ever created with an actuated lumbar spine and corresponding abdominal muscles. The robot's white, transparent skin shields 910 synthetic muscle fibers that animate 164 degrees of freedom. The torso has 182 sensors for feedback control. According to Clone, the robot in the new demo uses pneumatic actuation with off-the-shelf valves, which explains the noise. However, Clone says the bipedal version of the robot will be quiet thanks to its custom liquid valves. For reference, this clone arm uses the quieter design. And I'll just get even quieter as you guys move to fluids. Well, and we need to add this insulation to the call. We haven't added uh, like the boat noise. Silicon binder. Using water alleviates concerns that previously made hydraulic robots unfeasible for households. Traditional hydraulic systems use oil with dangerous chemicals like phosphate, glycols, and other toxic additives. However, maintenance would likely remain a challenge for people without specialized training, at least for initial iterations. Clone plans to ship 279 of its alpha androids in 2025. The price is to be determined, but Clone likens its first release to a limited edition supercar. However, the startup aims to eventually manufacture their humanoids at scale so they can be obtainable by the masses. Clone says it will soon demonstrate a full-bodied version of its alpha robot. Once they pass that hurdle, mass producing the design will likely be a big challenge, especially if they're aiming for consumers. Clone says it's building power-dense androids with anthropomorphic traits to solve everyday challenges. The use of the word android is notable. All androids are humanoids, but not all humanoid robots are androids. Humanoid robots can be very simple and mechanical. They often look dramatically different than real people. They have unique features like glowing eyes, metallic surfaces, unorthodox head shapes, minimalist faces, or no face at all. Simply put, a humanoid robot has a human form factor but looks like a machine. Conversely, androids aim to look as human as possible. They have skin, eyes, hair, and are engineered to mimic genuine facial expressions. Most of the humanoid robots making waves today do not meet the technical definition of android. Exceptions include Sophia by Hanson Robotics, Amica by Engineered Arts, and hyper-realistic creations by China-based X-Robots. Clone goes a bit further, however, by saying it's working towards synthetic humans. The startup has secured top talent to reach that goal, including the co-founder of NVIDIA's Isaac Jim, which is used to train and simulate advanced robotics and AI systems in highly realistic virtual environments. For a rundown on the top humanoid robots to watch in 2025, check the link in the description.